our final performance of Frozen. I am Mrs. Zini, the assistant director, and this is Ms. Grassa, the director. The students are very excited to get started, so I'm going to turn the mic over to Mr. Grassa. Thank you all so much for coming out tonight. I think for some of us, this is probably our third show for many of our parents. And for those of you, woo, yeah, yeah, round of applause for all our parents who have helped out with this. And so, uh, thank you all. For those of you who are just seeing it tonight, you guys are in for a real treat. We are beyond proud of these kids. I, I can't. I, I can't even put into words how amazing they are. So we were very blessed with an amazing cast, and you guys, you guys are gonna really love it. So just a few notes before we get started. Cell phones, please turn them off as they interfere with our sound system. Aisles, please keep the aisles and rows clear uh, of bags, feet, and everything, just because our cast will be walking through them at various points in the show. And if you guys are in need of a restroom, you can go straight out the auditorium doors to the left or the right. There's two in each hallway. Alrighty, so with that, everybody get their, their tissues ready. I got mine right in here. It's gonna be an amazing yet emotional show, I think, for many of us. So I'm gonna call out my storytellers. Come on out, guys. My storytellers here are gonna take you all through the magical story of Disney's Frozen, portrayed by our Garnet Valley Elementary School fifth graders. You guys ready for a good show? Over to them. Ready to get started. Here we go.
ship is overturned by a terrible storm.
embarrassing. You don't have to be embarrassed around me. I'm only the thirteenth son of a king, Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. Oh, Princess Anne of Arendelle. You know, not the heir, just the spare. Me, what? You're so upset. Are you okay? I'm fine. My sister also left me alone again. I'm sorry. It's fine. She shut me out for years. Oh, Anna, I can never shut you out. Okay. Can I just say something crazy? I love crazy. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. And then suddenly I am crazy. I was thinking the same thing. I've been searching my whole life. The party talking, but you're with you. But with you, I don't mind. I see your face, and it's just a lot that I've never known before. Love is an open door. Love is an open door. Love is an open door with you. I never met someone who thinks so much like me. Jinx! Jinx is dead! You are meant to see gravitation. Can have but one explanation. You and I were just meant to be.
have some distance Makes everything seem small And the fears that once controlled me Can't get to me at all the bird. 
Meanwhile, back at the castle, Prince Hans gathered the townspeople. Sona is dead. She was killed by Queen Elsa. At least we got to say our marriage bells. Bring in the Queen. I charge you with treason. And I sentence you to death! No!
again, thank you all so much for coming out tonight. I don't want to keep you guys too long, but before you go, I have to give out a few thank yous because obviously we have this amazing cast, but they couldn't have done it without all the parents and adults and other kid volunteers that came up to help us. So I'm going to just give off a few names and I don't want to forget anybody. So obviously we have our music director, Megan Arners. And my assistant director, Ms. Cassini. A big thank you to them. Obviously these kids couldn't do what they do if it wasn't for them. I want to thank Mrs. Martin, who is in charge of all of our amazing costumes. Mrs. Cusick, who is in charge of all of our props. Mr. Moyer, who came in and did sets and tech for us. We also had my two wonderful parents, Mrs. Grassa and Mr. Grassa. And a special shout out to my 80 year old grandmother who came in to help us almost every practice, so thank you. Mrs. Eichmann, Mr. Martin, Vincent Corvassier, Mrs. Delat, Mrs. Sacamandi, Mrs. Joe Rose, Mrs. Najira, Mrs. Dowdy, Mrs. Wood, and all the middle school and high school helpers, and anybody else who came and helped with the show. Thank you all so much. As I said before, I am extremely proud of all of you guys. You guys are gonna make me teary now. I, I, to, I told them, I told them before. I'm like really not good at these emotional speeches, but seriously, I love you all so much. It has been a pleasure getting to work with you all these last two months. Two months. These kids put the show on in two months. Give them a round of applause. You guys are amazing. I love you all. Mother's Day to everybody. Thank you. <laughs>